Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to go on a bit of a galactic adventure and visit 7 galaxies with very unusual names and some unusual characteristics somewhere out there in the universe but relatively close to us. Anyway, let's go and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So if we move this fast, we're not going to get to those galaxies very fast because we're going to a distance of several million light years. So we need to accelerate in Space Engine and we need to go far, far away. The first place we're going to is actually a galaxy by the name of Whirlpool Galaxy, also more officially known as Messier 51, because this was the 51st object discovered by the infamous uh, astronomer, French astronomer, Messier. He classified these objects as um, nebula. He basically thought these were uh, objects that were relatively close to our own uh, sun, but in reality they were much, much farther away. So let's actually cheat a little bit and go to M51 slightly faster. And so here we go. This is the Whirlpool Galaxy as it appears in Space Engine, but to make it more beautiful, let's actually increase the luminosity a little bit, just so you can see what it may look like if you were to look at this in a telescope. And so here we go, this is the M51, also known as NGC 5194. It's a very, very active galaxy with lots and lots of stars being made and also lots and lots of stars being destroyed as well. The bright spots that you see are basically the so-called uh, stellar nurseries where stars are being actively created. And in the last 17 years or so, we've detected at least three very bright supernova, meaning that at least three stars were destroyed and created more material. Now, this is a very common type of a galaxy. This is also known as a spiral galaxy, similar to, of course, Milky Way. And this galaxy, because it's so similar to ours, allows us to study these spiral galaxies in a lot of detail and actually teaches us about our own galaxy as well. There's about 77% of all galaxies um, that are this type of a galaxy. And um, they are very, very common, but this one is very close and very bright, so we can study it very, very well. Anyway, let's go to the next one, and this one has a slightly different, more gentle name, the Sunflower Galaxy, also known as M63, also named by Messier, this is the 63rd object, and this here looks slightly more unusual. You can probably guess that it's called Sunflower Galaxy because of the unusual spots that you can kind of see in some locations, and these are actually uh, due to really tight spirals inside the arms of this galaxy that create these really unusual sunflower patterns. The brilliant glow actually um, is generated by th these newly formed, very, very bright, very powerful blue-white giant stars, and um, they're basically creating these unusual patterns that you can kind of see. Now let's come from the other side just so you can see it a little bit better. This is the Sunflower Galaxy. Anyway, next one has an on ominous name, the Black Eye Galaxy. More officially known as M64, more unofficially known as the Evil Eye Galaxy. You can probably guess why. The ancients were kind of scared of this, because it looked like something is staring at them. So this particular galaxy has lots and lots of space dust right here in the middle that very likely is there because of a collision with another galaxy and basically the absorption of another galaxy. In other words, this galaxy swallowed another galaxy completely. And the center here actually rotates in the opposite direction, which also implies that something was swallowed by this, this galaxy and something that was spinning in the opposite direction. So this is probably one of the most evil looking galaxies that we've going, we're going to visit here and we're going to talk about this galaxy in more detail in one of the future videos. Anyway, let's go to something a little bit less evil looking. Maybe something a little bit more unusual. We're going to go to a galaxy known as the Sombrero Galaxy. That's right. This is probably the largest, the most massive Mexican hat in the universe. This galaxy right here, 
I'd usually name Sombrero Galaxy because of the way that it looks from, from the side where we're looking at. Basically, it kind of looks like a big Mexican hat. Maybe a little bit more so if I change the luminosity a little bit. And maybe this is what the scientists usually see and what they refer to as the Sombrero Galaxy. Now, this is a very, very massive galaxy, up to 800 billion masses of the sun. Probably the most massive Mexican hat in the universe. But kidding aside, though, it is a very, very massive place. With most mass obviously being dark matter, but nevertheless quite a lot of mass being various stars of various types. And if you were to come from the top here, this is what it would look like. It's a very interesting looking ring galaxy, also known as NGC 4594. And speaking of unusual Mexican objects, the next galaxy on the list is actually named Cigar Galaxy. And Cigar Galaxy, also known as M82 or Messier 82, doesn't really look like a cigar at all, at first at least. Now I'm going to try to make it look cigar shaped or at least uh, show you the appearance of what seems like a cigar by repositioning myself to a location where um, you would see it maybe a little bit better. So it sort of is how we see it from Earth. This is actually uh, what it does look like from Earth, Earth being completely behind us right now. And even though it's kind of hard to see the actual cigar, it does look like a, something or someone is puffing some smoke here. Now, this particular galaxy, um, also known as M82, is actually, let me just point at it again, um, a place with very, very high star birth rate. Basically, a lot of stars are being actively created here at all times, up to 10 times more than in the middle of our galaxy, the Milky Way. And because of this, this is the kind of a shape and the kind of a brightness that it creates, um, making it look very, very unusual and giving it this very unusual irregular shape with a lot of dust right here, um, making this galaxy have slightly different colors. It's actually a little bit more red here than it, uh, than it currently appears in Space Engine. So this, this is probably one of the more unusual irregular galaxies we're going to visit in this video. And this is probably one of the more unusual places in uh, nearby galactic space to us as well. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Welcome to the cigar smoke. All right, let's go to the next galaxy. And this one might be familiar to you because it's, it's actually appeared quite a lot in uh, my previous videos as well. A galaxy by the name of... ARP-188, more commonly known as the Tadpole Galaxy. You're going to see why it's called Tadpole in a second. Here it is. Here is the beauty. Look at how beautiful this galaxy is. Now, this long tail is what gives the, this galaxy its name. And this long tail was probably created because of uh, another galaxy that passed by nearby and kind of stretched this tail, making it really look like a Tadpole from a distance with a head and a tail. Now, Tadpole Galaxy um, is very well known to the astronomers and it's actually very, very beautiful if you can find it in the telescope. And as you can see, it has another tail sticking out here. And what makes it really, really beautiful is of course the fact that this tail stretches for like 300,000 light years. So this beautiful protrusion is very, 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 very long. Imagine as if our galaxy that's about the same size as this would have this long stretching tail uh, moving behind it. And we can actually go inside of it and check it out as well, just to give you an idea what it feels like inside this beautiful tail. And we might want to enable some stars here just because we want to see these stars as well. So there you are inside the Tadpole Galaxy's tail. This is what the center looks like. And the last galaxy on the list, not surprisingly, is our own galaxy, the Milky Way, because it does have a very unusual name as well, and actually for a reason. Now, we don't really see our own galaxy, because obviously we are inside of it, but Space Engine allows us to see our galaxy from the outside, and we get to actually experience what it might look like if we were to go outside of it. Now, we know um, that or we used to think, at least, 
uh, our galaxy had two spiral arms, two massive spiral arms. But then in 2013, we discovered that there's actually at least four arms. There's four arms here that we now are almost confident are all uh, massive areas of star creation, star formation. And one of such regions where our Earth is located, this region right here, is known as the Orion's Arm. This is essentially one of the stellar formation regions with one of the more commonly known areas known as Orion's Belt and Orion's Nebula. All of these are areas where a lot of stars are being formed, including very likely at some point our own star, the Sun. And long time ago, when ancient Greeks looked at the skies, they actually saw something that reminded them of spilled milk. And they named that particular region of space the Milky Way. This is actually what it may look like in a uh, space engine. So here is that Milky Way that the Greeks saw and uh, they named it that. And then with time, we named the entire galaxy the Milky Way. And as a matter of fact, the word galaxy itself has the word galactose in it. Galactose is also milk. So all of the galaxies are technically dairy or have dairy names in them. And that's because back then, Greeks thought it looked kind of milk-like. And anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. And hopefully you learned something from it. And hopefully you enjoyed it as well. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games. Come back tomorrow to learn something else educational. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.